Reluctance amongst Metro Vancouver home sellers is impacting sale and price activity across the region. Let's take a closer look by reviewing our three key housing market indicators. The first is home sales. Realtors registered over 2,400 sales on our MLS in February. This is down over 40% from the record-breaking sales of one year ago. It is about 7% below the 10-year average for the month. The second indicator is home listings that supply housing market demand. The number of homes for sale in our region was nearly 7,600 homes last month. That's up by about 5% from January and is 4% higher than this time last year. New listings, however, are at a historic low for the month. Only 3,600 homes were newly listed for sale in February. This is the lowest February total in 14 years. The third key indicator is home prices. The benchmark price for all residential homes in Metro Vancouver is 906000 this is up 1% over last month, but remains 14% higher than this time last year. As you can see, the modest price increase we saw between January and February is the first price gain we've seen in the last six months. To understand why this happened, we examined the relationship between supply and demand in our market using the sales to active listing ratio. That ratio today is 31%. This is up 10 points from last month. Downward pressure on home prices can occur when the ratio dips below the 12% mark for a sustained period, while home prices can experience upward pressure when it surpasses 20% over several months. This brings us to our Realtor View segment. This month, we're looking at market cycles of supply and demand. Basic economics tell us that prices are set by supply and demand. The concept is simple. If the supply of a product struggles to keep up with consumer demand, the value of that product will go up. This is what we've seen in the Metro Vancouver housing market over the past year. During the first half of 2016, record sales and dwindling supply caused record price growth. Demand gradually began to recede as the year went on. This put on some downward pressure on prices leading to the traditionally slow months of December and January. While sales in the first two months of 2017 remained below the record-breaking activity from one year ago, home seller supply is still struggling to keep up with today's demand. This is why we've seen so little to no downward pressure on home prices this year, particularly in the condominium and townhome markets. It's important to remember that supply and demand can vary significantly depending on neighborhood and property type. To navigate these markets, it's important to work with your local realtor. For further housing market information, go to the News and Stats section of this website. For the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver, I'm Dan Morrison.